excited, like just like knowing that obviously today we're in the Olympic kit and you know we're going into the Olympics now. It all starts to feel real, especially you know today we wore it in race and and practice all of our race kit and yeah it's starting to feel nice now to go to the games even from Beijing like it was all about London type of thing it was like Beijing was a stop off along the way to the Olympics in London and then now it's kind of like right London's here it just feels it just feels right to me I mean some other athletes might be feeling the pressure but I'm just really excited to to go there and represent my country let's talk about your racing year so far so the world's in May didn't pan out how you wanted you looked absolutely furious at the time what happened just basically, you know, everything was going, I went in, you know, got a second in the time trial on the, on the day before racing, and I was, you know, not happy, but I thought, you know, it's been, it's not too bad, because I took a big crash going into the world, before the world, um, and ended up in hospital, so I thought, you know, from where I came from, it was good, and then going into racing, it was all going good, and it was, you know, I was, I was getting faster and faster each lap, and then to slide out on my own was, you know, it was quite frustrating, because I thought, I've got so much more to offer, and there I am, sat, sat there watching the quarterfinals, and the semi-final, so it was just hard and frustrating that I couldn't, you know, because the crowd was great, and I just wanted to do as many laps as I could in front of the home crowd, and you know, I was just disappointed that I didn't get to do that. Basically, after the world, I was I was humming in orange should I go abroad, and I thought, <clears throat> I don't really deserve to go abroad, because, you know, I, I, I went out in the quarterfinals, which isn't what I'm about, I want to win, so I thought, oh, well, I don't not ne really need a big break from, from racing, because I haven't done much of it because of injury, so I thought to myself, I'm just going to go for a city break, went for a bit more low-key, and went to London. <laughs> you only go on a holiday that you've earned. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You've got to ruin a holiday. To win the Olympic Games is everything to me, and it's everything I work for every day. And I just, I don't know. Like I have it in my mind, I want to be Olympic champion. And when it happens, and when it comes true, that I don't know. I really don't know. I just be, yeah. I don't care even if I have to stay in England. Like I just want to, yeah. I just want to be Olympic champion so bad. How often do you think it's that? I think for a long time I didn't think, think that I was gonna I was capable of being an Olympic champion. It was kind of a dream, and I kind of thought, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a fast BMX rider, but I just don't know if I can put it all together. And there was a lot of doubt in my mind. But now I think about it quite a few times a day, 